snack Me and you gonna have a little chat So I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is the third one in the Parasol Protectorate series by Gail Carragher which is Blameless. This book was really 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 good. I really enjoyed this and it was definitely a massive step up from the first and second which I still really enjoyed but this one was by far the best one so far in my opinion. I thought that this book just started out really really well. It was very very fast paced, there was a lot of action that drew you straight back in and I didn't have any problem going back in and reconnecting with all of the old characters because the characters in this book just make it so much fun. The story itself follows Alexia Tarabotti once again who is our main character and in this book we are thrust into the deep end straight away because the ending of book two, I said in my review of book two, it's crazy. There is some crazy crazy stuff that happens at the end of book two which we are still continuing to address at the beginning of book three. Alexia is left in a really unfortunate situation and this only gets worse when the vampires and werewolves and supernatural beings within this world decide to get involved and take matters into their own hands and try and come up with their own solutions to Alexia's problems which are not quite the solution she had envisioned for herself. So Alexia decides that she is going to travel away from London, which is where the story has been based up until now, and actually she's going to go to some other countries, see if she can get help with her situation over there. I really love all of the characters from this series. I think they are all excellent, they all have their own personalities, they're all engaging, and I love reading about them. I love them all so much, in fact, that I actually read like three quarters of this book in a couple of hours. Some of my most favourite characters include Alexia of course, who is a highly sophisticated woman, even though she is looked down upon by a lot of the society because she was not yet married until she was quite old. She is just a great great character and I love reading about her, she's highly intelligent, she's just exceptionally funny at points of the book and generally I really enjoy her storyline as well. Lord Macon is another main character who I enjoy a lot, however in the course of this book his character was sorely tested and he had a lot of moments of depression and sadness and trying to deal with the situation that he is in because yeah he basically goes a bit off the rails in this book and I didn't really like him for the first half because I was like come on sort everything out but he didn't until the second half but then I liked him again so yeah he's he's a mixed bag. Let's just say he reacts very violently to certain things and it was quite funny to read about how he was reacting but it was also like come on sort everything out. Let's get back to the Lord Macken that I know and love. Lord Akeldama is a great character. He is a rogue vampire which means that he's not part of any of the vampire hives and he can do his own thing. He's also very fashionable and sophisticated and very enjoyable to read about. He's highly exuberant and positive but in this book there are some real moments where we see him quite sad and we see emotional moments with him and other characters and I really love him because he's he's one of the most honest characters and he's one of the characters that we see most often in very heartbreaking or sad moments. Flute, who is Alexia's butler, came along for this story as well and my goodness he was really entertaining. He knows a lot more than he lets on I think. He's very suspicious about that. He also knows a lot more about her estranged and deceased father. Alexia doesn't know a lot about him but she, Flute definitely does and refuses to tell her and he's just a very resourceful character who I enjoy reading about so much. Madame Lafoe is a great character also, she's an inventor and she's also a great friend to Alexia so she's not only highly engaging to read about but she's also very intelligent and she invents some very very wonderful contraptions that very much help them out throughout the course of this story. <laughs> Next we have Professor Lyle who I love, he is the beta in the werewolf pack that Lord Macken is the alpha for. He's very loyal, he's very resourceful and generally I just love his storyline because he really really helps out the other characters, especially Lord Macon in this book when he's being all depressed. He also has a lot of common sense which is great. Then we have Ivy Hisselpenny who is a great friend to Alexia and they are just hilarious together. She's a very very silly person but that doesn't mean she's not intelligent. She keeps Alexia up to date on all the most important things, namely gossip. And then finally we have Biffy who is a young vampire drone and he is part of Lord Akeldama's collection. 
and he's a really really sweet guy he's really really friendly and he helps out everyone he ends up in some bad situations which have to be resolved overall I just think there are some great great moments of humor and fun and laughter which are all because of these wonderful characters and I really enjoy reading about all of their storylines and how they all work together to achieve whatever needs to be done. The pacing of this book was great, it was really fast paced, it was explosive, it was action packed, there was a lot going on at all times which I loved and I really managed to race through the story and enjoy it and just have a great time following them. I also loved seeing the other cultures that we visited and I felt like there was a lot more humour and just light-hearted witty fun between all the characters in this. On the whole it is just a wonderful addition to the series, I cannot wait to continue on with it, I've only got two books left and yeah I gave this one a 5 out of 5 star rating, really really enjoyed it, would highly recommend it and would love to know what you guys think of it. So if you have read this series leave me your comments down below about what you thought of it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the